Hey everybody, welcome to this Tuesday's Tech Tip. I want to go over a little issue that I've been seeing a lot of uh, technicians over the years when they're programming with their, their Ford uh, IDS or if they're using what used to be FMP and now is FJDS in their JBox and they're doing a passive anti-theft learn on vehicles that store the keys in the cluster. I want to show you guys a quick tip about that. And when we're talking about PATS, if you're not familiar with it, PATS stands for passive anti-theft system. That means we have a transponder and a key. That transponder looks like this. This is what's inside the key and uh, has basically the uh, passcode, if you will, to allow the vehicle to start. So the vehicle's looking for this signal uh, in the key to allow it to start. So, but first I want to tell you guys, I got a bunch of uh, free classes that have been going on. We have a free class this Friday, the 24th at 1 p.m., and that's going to be covering uh, the uh, calibration lookups for J2534. So Friday, the 24th of April, 1 p.m. Also, I have a bunch of other classes going on uh, coming up uh, with PicoScope class, and you can keep track of all these classes on my website. I try and put this stuff up there. I'm still learning and being better at this for you guys, but if you have any questions about that, please do uh, refer to the website or uh, check it out on our blog on our website or hands-on auto training on Facebook. The issue I'm trying to help you guys out with that I've seen dozens of times in the field where technicians have this equipment and they're missing a step or they're not completely following a step is when they're doing a parameter reset, okay? A uh, parameter reset relinks the module that stores the keys on a Ford to the module, other modules, like if your cluster stores the keys and it has two keys learned to it, but you're replacing the PCM, you don't have to erase the keys and reprogram them, but you do have to do what's called a parameter reset. That relinks the two modules back together. And many times what I've seen is people are following this procedure properly until the very last uh, end of it. What I mean by that is you wait 10 minutes of your time to gain security access, you hit the parameter reset button, and basically it says it's reset, but you have to exit out of the parameter reset because if you don't exit out of it and let the cluster do its needle flutter, is what I call it, um, if it doesn't complete that, if you turn the key off, if you hit exit and turn the key off really quickly before the cluster reset, you're going to be waiting another 10 minutes in many instances. So that's what I'm trying to share with you guys here. So check it out in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. It's very important to make sure that you give this enough time after you push the button. We're not replacing any keys. We did not replace the IC. We did do a computer in this Ford. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes here. We did wait our 10 minutes. We got that taken care of. Go ahead and do this and hit the check mark. It says it's been successful. That's great. But watch this. Watch the cluster here. As I hit this check mark, I'm going to hit that check mark. Watch the cluster. I hit OK. And it says module configuration is now complete. And then uh, for this to be successful, you must turn the key off and on. I hit the check mark, but we'll keep an eye on the cluster here. And now I'm going to hit the exit menu. I'm going to exit from this menu. Watch what happens when I hit exit. I'm hitting exit right now. I'm going to see everything come to life real quick. Now watch the cluster. The gauge needles just shook. If you turn a key off before that happens on many of these Fords, you will cause a problem. So I always recommend at the end of a parameter reset, this is a 2009 Escape. At the end of the parameter reset, give, give the cluster some time to do its reset procedure. It's very important. So let's see if we got ourselves a runner now. but. If you cut that key off, if you turn the key off real quickly after that is done, before the, com the cluster resets, it may not do its parameter reset, and you have to go and do a whole another 10 minute relearn. We've got a runner. Um, me and my technicians in the field over the years have been called out many times to shops that had the equipment to do the job, but they could not get the process to complete because they turned the key off too soon. Be sure to check out Hands-On Auto Training on Facebook. I hope everybody has a good day.